Hi guys! So if you remember my last video, I have shown which stepper motors the TiVo Tornado is equipped with and I also shown that the Y-axis stepper motor has a different part number compared with all the others. This Y-axis stepper motor is also bigger in size. It is 47 millimeters in thickness while all the others are only 40 millimeters. This suggests that the Y-axis stepper motor is more powerful, which makes sense because this axis needs more torque as it needs to move this heavy carriage and heat bed back and forth and with rapid direction changes. And if it's more powerful, then it also needs more current. During the test I've been doing to the tornado, I have found some layer shifting from time to time and always in the Y direction. At first I thought it was my glass moving due to the fast changes in directions of the Y axis, but even with six clamps holding the glass I could still see the layer shift happening. Reducing the acceleration from 1000 down to 800 and reducing the jerk from 10 down to 7 and reducing the print speed from 70 millimeters a second down to 40 millimeters a second was not enough to eliminate this layer shift. So that's when I decided to check the output current of the stepper drivers. The main board is an MKS base version 1.4 with Allegro 4982 drivers. The output current can be easily calculated by measuring the VREF on the potentiometer. My readings were For the x-axis I had 0.853 volts. For the y-axis I had 0.771 volts. For the z-axis I had 0.799 volts. And for the extruder I had 0.824 volts. So in my case, the Y-axis stepper motor is the one having the lowest current supply from the drivers. Having a more powerful motor but supplying it with the same low current will not give better results. I could not find the specs for these stepper motors but by the size of this motor I don't think that it has a working current of less than 1.3 amps. With the stock VREF, this motor is running too cold, which also suggests that it's not getting enough current. Therefore, I adjusted the VREF for 1 volt, which translates to an output current of 1.25 amps. The tests done afterwards shows that the motor still works in a safe temperature zone. In my opinion, it still runs cold. After a big and long print, the stepper motor did not reach 35 degrees. And in this big print, I can no longer see layer shifts. Some might say that it was due to the glass on the heat bed which increased the overall carriage weight and therefore caused the stress on the y-axis. However, it came to my attention that more users also had experienced layer shift issues and didn't use glass on a heat bed. It's clear to me that in my case the Y stepper motor was working and probably still is below the ideal working current. By adjusting the VREF I'm pushing the current closer to its ideal working current and therefore the printer will work better. That's it guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.